I like to read and watch the news on occasion, and these days I find it difficult to know what's the truth, especially in Western media where politics is involved with people with a lot of different interests. It's hard to tell. So the most recent issue about crime in Sweden, it was brought to the attention of many by a recent Donald Trump speech where he said, You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. They took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. Then, obviously, the media jumped on it. And even the former Swedish prime minister saying, Sweden? Terror attack? What has he been smoking? Questions abound. So I tried to get more information online, but found it hard to get a balanced article that quoted all the numbers. Those leaning on the left side would leave out certain statistics and also quickly blame the rape statistics on the immeasurable high level of feminism in the country. Then the right would also not mention problems with analysing this type of data and leave out a lot of statistics as well. So what is the real picture of crime in Sweden? For those that are aware of the issue, Sweden has been very generous to, uh, very open and inviting to those less fortunate to stay in their country, uh, from refugees uh, to the in the Middle East, uh, and from the Syrian war, but also a lot of others from the third world, including the Africa region. So this graph simply displays the amount of foreign-born people, and it is growing fast. So from the year two thousand starting to to 2015, it started from 1 million to 1.7 million. And this is pretty, pretty big for a country with a population of only 9.8 million people. And this pretty much makes the foreign population about 17% of the country. And this stack chart basically shows the percentage of uh, the foreign people and the region they're from. So as you can see, the majority are actually from, uh, well, from the year 2000, was from the Nordic countries. So that's basically excluding Sweden, uh, but has gradually declined over time. So right now it only makes up 14% 14 of the uh, foreign population. So it started at, uh, so ended at 20, 245,000 from 270,000. So uh, Sweden has increased population over this time but also declined in the amount of uh, Nordic people living there. Uh, South Americans, a bit of a decline in growth. North Americans as well declining. Uh, other EU, uh, other co Europe countries, except the EU, uh, has declined as well. Those that belong to the EU, 28, um, except the Nordic countries, has uh, a bit steady, I guess, steady amount of uh, percentage. And those from Asia, which are probably mostly from the Middle East, because they call that Asia over there, whereas uh, in here they probably call it the Middle East, uh, has increased uh, quite a bit. So 30% from 2000, 21% now in 2015, 33%. Then in Africa, 5.49%, with 55,000 people, to now in 2015, well, not now, in 2015, 178,000 people. So the biggest growth, uh, obviously, in uh, those two regions, in the Middle East and Asian region, and also in Africa over this time. And that is uh, 700,000 more people. So before I get into the crime statistics, uh, there's a few quirks to the data which you should definitely know. Uh, so number one, Sweden does not publish data by ethnicity, um, you know what I mean, or background. So there's really no way to tell, I guess, where the person comes from who commits the crime. Uh, also, on the rape statistics, when rapes do occur, they count the actual act as one rape. So if a perpetrator did the act with the same person each day over five days, it's counted as five rapes, whereas some other places count that as one because it's the one perpetrator and victim. Uh, this was introduced from 2005 onwards, 
So you might see a spike in uh, that for that reason. Um, also, uh, every country has different principles about what is recorded as a criminal uh, act. So in Sweden, basically every offence committed on a single occasion is recorded uh, as a separate act, where some merge it together, uh, perpetrator, victim, uh, unique uniqueness, I guess, in some countries. Um, for crime statistics are also influenced by the public willingness to report a crime. So sometimes it depends if people are more willing, uh, if this new new migrants are willing to report a crime or if um, the Swedish population don't want to report it. I don't know. Uh, also, from 2013 onwards, the rape definition is expanded to include cases where the victim reacts passively, for example, while they're sleeping. Not sure why that wasn't considered before. But uh, you should also, six, you should also consider uh, that this is probably used as a major performance of the police and also has real effects on the Swedish ruling political elite. So generally, negative measures like crime, people do have as an incentive to report lower numbers. So perhaps it could be higher. Some countries, especially in the third world, um, or uh, regimes out there like... <laughs> You can call Russia report extremely, uh, ex ex extremely lower rates than what, um, what they are actually, what they are actual. So now, last one: total crime committed statistics and individual type of statistics totals do not, um, do not match for some reason. Um, I cannot figure out why. Um, that I think perhaps it's because they did not classify all the crimes into the types. So. There's some crimes missing in the type allocation. So just keep that aware. I'll mention it again um, as well when we, once we get to that stage. Um, so as you can see in this graph, this is the total crimes committed from uh, 1993 onwards. So there's a bit of a, uh, I guess it's, uh, this is per 100,000 population, by the way. So per 100,000, there was about 13,000 crimes and per 100,000 people now, there's about 15,000. So even though the population of Sweden has increased, uh, this is basically a percentage of that because it's per 100,000. Um, so if you go further out backwards, you can kind of see the trend uh, from 1950. Total crimes reported has uh, increased dramatically. Uh, that being said, it's a long way far, far back and the reporting has obviously changed and there's no easy way to know exactly what has changed in the legislation or reporting of all these things. But uh, you can see it's on a, a big, big trend upwards. Uh, if you just scroll to just 2000 onwards, you can see that the crime statistics uh, have gone up. It hasn't gone up by that much, but uh, I guess a, a decent amount um, overall. And on the left, you can see in this, I guess, more relevant period, that the assaults have been up. So some are down, some are up. Assaults, um, 668 now to 947 peaked in 2011, but has gone down um, in the most recent years, which is uh, promising. Then burglary and firearms down. Burglary private house up. Interesting. <laughs> Narcotics up and kind of up, I guess. Uh, criminal damage, uh, it's actually going down, now going back up. Driving under the influence. Uh, had a had a peak at uh, 2008 and now is going down. Fraud has definitely increased. Homicide up and down, to be honest. Uh, rape has definitely increased. Uh, robbery has declined. Aggravated robbery has declined. Sexual offenses has increased. Theft from motor vehicle, etc. So you can look at that yourselves. But that is, uh, yeah, across the board, it's very varied on what type um of crime has increased. So this graph or stack chart will show you the foreign value increase, basically from the 1 million mark to the 1.68, and then the crime value per type. So um, please note that the total values for the crime value per type before I actually click on a type may not make sense because they don't match the actual total crimes committed in the other statistic that I had. And I think this is wrong because they simply just haven't classified all the crimes in a certain type. So don't look at this on the, that line until I click on a specific crime type. 
So I'll just bring it back a little more so you can see, I suppose, the trends before the 2000 mark. If I go rubbery, you can see rubbery actually has uh, gone down uh, from 8,372 per 100,000 people in 1997. Constant drop, a few peaks here and there, but uh, now at its actual lowest at 5,404 per 100,000. If you go to rape, 18, um, 18 per 100,000. Now all the way to 2011 where it peaked at 69 and 69, 2014 as well. And now dropping slightly to 60 per 100,000. So rape has definitely increased a lot by uh, three or nearly 400%. You may see, see a similar thing with fraud. See fraud uh, to 1996 to 778, went down 1998 to 489 per 100,000, then gradually increased all the way up to now with 1,896 per 100,000. Um, you may also notice on the right pie graph that these make up the very small percentage of the total crimes reported, though, though um, rape is probably the more serious one, I think, out of those uh, ones we just saw involves a, a person rather than material things. Um, so driving under influence has decreased, but uh, definitely uh, still was still high in certain areas in 2008, 30, 337 per 100,000, and was quite low in 1998 to 137, so almost a 200, almost 300,000 percent increase. Criminal damage has increased, peaked in 2009, but has dropped quite significantly to 1,417,013, but has peaked again. So it's quite up and down um, recently. And crimes against narcotics has increased, uh, peaked at 2013 with 1,002 people per 100,000. Oh, crimes reported. Uh, burglary has uh, increased against so burglary with private property. I'm not sure why they split that up. Um, so it is now at 203, it's 232 per 100,000. Um, hasn't increased that much really compared to that 200, 200 at 1997. So it's 32 extra per 100,000. Uh, burglary with firearms. So they must have... Must have, um, yeah, I guess, uh, put uh, a lid on guns somehow. In 1997, 1,669 per 100,000, and constantly dropping to the 1,000 mark in 2010, then now in to 900 or so. So that's dropped. Assaults uh, have definitely increased. So uh, really, really low assault statistics in the past, and now... Uh, well, has peaked at 2011 at 947 per 100,000 and uh, now dropped in 2013 but peaked again, or not peaked, uh, increased to 868 more recently. You have vehicle theft. Wow, vehicle theft out. Uh, don't like the cars, the, those uh, thieves. Um, what's this? What is this? Doesn't say. Hmm. Something dropped. <laughs> uh, theft from... So that's theft from shops, isn't it? Sorry, theft from shops has dropped significantly um, recently, but it's really pretty much the same. So I don't think it's been affected at all by... The mo In fact, it's it's even gone down. So something else must have changed. Um, so motor vehicles have... Theft Theft is down, interestingly enough. Maybe the generous <laughs> generous welfare from Sweden is doing, doing its job. Aggravated robbery, that is up, peaking at 210 at 2014. This small one here. Uh, well, actually, that's sexual offences. It's up. Sorry, I was looking at sexual offences, so that's definitely up. Uh, robbery, up and down. I guess it's uh, kind of peak during the... Uh, really hasn't really gone up since the more people have been coming in. Actually has decreased a lot in 2015. So really, I guess in whole, it seems that the yeah, it seems like crime has decreased in a lot of areas. Robbery, um, thefts, 
etc. Homicides, I think homicides is not even here, but that's definitely increased, uh, decreased. We've got homicides kind of peaked in uh, 2010 at four, but really it's still quite quite low. It hasn't really been affected by the increase. So the serious, most serious crime hasn't been affected. Fraud has definitely um, increased. Fraud, rape, and sexual offences really are the main, and assault are the main increases. So, so the um, definitely rape is a big, big issue in my opinion. Even even considering those other uh, clauses that people that, that's reported, because it's been increasing before before two thousand. So what was that? Uh, what was the actual date of that? So they said two thousand and five. This is uh, when they changed it to count um, the actual act as one rape instead of um, the perpetrator victim uniqueness. So. If we go to rape, hmm, I guess it kind of, 2005 here, it was already, it already peaked 2004, look, 2004, boom. And then 2005, we had that change in legislation and boom, a little bit, little bit, little bit. Hmm, you can see, yeah, 2004, 2005, it, it doubled and there was no change in that reporting legislation. Um, I also don't think that you know, when person reports rape, they get raped like because I had some articles out there that said if one person uh, reports a rape and gets raped by her husband three hundred times, it's going to be counted three hundred times. That's just a really extreme example. I don't think there's many cases like that, or if any, because um, I think it's only a one-off thing. To be honest, you wouldn't go back for a rape, right? Um, so. Interesting. So that's that. So I'll just see if I can look at... That's what I'm interested to see since 1950, even though it's hard to tell uh, how the reporting was done back then. Uh, robbery, the crimes gradually increased, peaked at around 1990. Interesting. So it's actually declined quite a lot. Um, fraud, which was uh, something which we saw increase recently, uh, which correlated to the foreign immigration. Um kind of peaked it's really peaked right now it's definitely been the highest it's ever been but it had had peaks here and there in 1980 1247 in 1990 uh, as well uh assault let's see assault there's another one which was increased yes that's definitely um increased and has a high correlation to to that too um so i'm going to publish this anyway so you can play around if you're interested in in this um so let's go into forecasting. So not so not forecasting. This is just showing a percentage increase. So uh, foreign value uh, increased by sixty percent from two thousand, and um, the crime value per type overall minus ten percent. Robbery decreased twenty eight percent. Foreign sixty percent. Rape increased one hundred fifty percent. Foreign value sixty percent. Fraud. So obviously the foreign value won't change. I was going to be 60%. We're just reminding you. So crime value is 300%. So this will give you the extra percentages instead of the guessing. Uh, driving 23% up. Crime value. Uh, what's this one? Criminal damage, I think it was. Criminal, yep. Up 28%. Crimes against narcotics up 128%. Uh, burglary ups twenty six percent. The other type of burglary, with firearms, is down thirty one percent. Assault is up twenty seven percent. Theft from shops, um, thirteen point five percent down. Uh, theft from motor vehicle down sixty six percent. Guess they don't. Ha um, maybe they don't have too many cars. Sexual offenses up seventy percent. Robbery, um, aggravated robbery down twenty eight percent. And robbery ten percent. So it's it's across the board to be honest. It's not that bad, but there are some concerning statistics to look at. So they shouldn't deny the fact that uh, some of these are increasing, and there's a very high correlation. Even though, remember, it does not mean causation, but rape is uh, going up high. Sexual offences and fraud, which were never high, never peaked, where the others did have some peaks in the past, and has actually declined. So certain maybe types of uh, crime do need to be acknowledged by people anyway guys hope that is interesting see you around